I see panpsychism as being some ways intermediate between physicalism and dualism. It has some aspects of physicalism and some aspects of dualism. Like physicalism, I think you just have this simple ontology of basic physical particulars and properties connected by laws. Like at least property dualism, you have a, a dualism of the intrinsic properties which constitute consciousness and these relational properties that constitute physical structure. So I guess I'd like to see it as a view which has the best elements of both. I mean, but as a physicalism, it is a fairly radical form of physicalism, precisely because it does introduce mental properties as fundamental. You say there is, I mean, if you're a panpsychist, you say there is consciousness at the fundamental level of the natural order. I mean, this changes the physical worldview from one that just involves dead matter to one that involves mind at the fundamental level. So metaphysically, I think it's, it's radical, and um, many physicalists, I think, are going to find it too radical of you for their tastes. But if you ask me just philosophically, I think it actually can preserve much of what is attractive about physicalism while still making room for irreducible consciousness.